Alrighty. All right, get paint organized and we'll get started. All right, so today I am painting a Dominion or a Stormcast Eternal Praetor from the Dominion box. Um, I'm painting them in my own personal scheme instead of the uh, the box art scheme but yeah so let's get started i'm going to start with sotek green for the main color or the main besides the the armor color uh the armor color is um retributor armor he was primed in this with the retributor armor spray so now we're gonna start in on the the actual colors so sotek green is going to be here on the inside of the shield here being careful not to nick the the edge here because we want to keep this ring around here nice and gold we're also going to do the shoulder pads in this color I think that'll probably be it. There's not these guys don't have as much color on them as the uh, what are they? Whatever the light or whatever the line infantry guys are, vindictors. I think is what they're called. Those guys have more opportunity for color, but on these guys, it's just the shield and the shoulder pad. But we'll work with what we got here. These little, like, decorations around the shoulder pad are going to be silver, so we won't worry about that right now. We can paint right over it. Just make sure to get the, the underneath areas. And again, being careful not to nick the... <laughs> the gold of the shield. We can touch it up with some Retributor armor from the pot, but as few mistakes as possible is always a good way to paint. There we go, and then we'll just get the back here. Alright. And I'm just going to do a quick second coat on the shield here. Oof. I'll have to touch that up with some of the some gold because I went a little too quickly on that. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna to touch up that gold I made a mistake on real quick. This is just brush on retributor armor. Same color as we primed with. So I'll just do that right there and we'll be good to go. Now we're gonna move on to doing actually our shoulder pads are dry enough now that we'll do the second coat on the shoulder pad really quick. good and this one as well excellent all right so now we'll move on to the silver 
And we're going to do two silvers on him, but the first one we're going to start with is Grey Knight's Steel. And that's going to be for the decorations on his shield and his shoulder pads, as well as the uh, plate mail that he's wearing. And some of the hammers, or some of the pieces of the hammer. But we'll start here. So this is going on the plate mail here. It's going to go on these lightning bolts also, but I'm just trying to knock out each individual piece before moving on to the next one. And then I always do this little whatever it might be in a the silver as well. Alright, so then we're going to do these lightning bolts in silver. This is really just to break this guy up because um, they're a little more heavily armored. They, they look a little monochromatic if you don't add some more splotches of color in a couple places compared to the other guys in this set, so we just decided lightning bolts can be silver. And just make sure to get the back side of the... I'm going to get the rest of that trim. And then there's the back there. And then we just want to get the side here. Good. So then we have these two decorations on his chest. I've been painting this whole one in silver. And then just the moon shape here. Just the crescent itself in silver. And then these decorations on his shoulder pads. The lightning bolt here. And all this decoration. This basically just following the, the lightning bolt down on his armor. And then these two little teeth right there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. We've got a couple things on the shield to do. We're going to do this kind of area of text here in silver. We're going to put wash on him so we don't have to get all the way down in the, the crevices there. And then this symbol in the middle of the shield is going to be silver as well. Again, we're going to be putting wash on this guy, so if the gold doesn't get covered completely by the silver, it's not the end of the world. It'll just look like a little bit of wear and tear on it. Alright, there we go. And then, the only other thing that's silver is this crest on his arm here. Um, if you wanted... If you were following this paint scheme or doing just similar kind of blocking of colors but with different colors, you could also do these pieces of trim here in a different color. I'm choosing not to on these, but it would be absolutely an option if you wanted to make these guys a little more detailed. So now I'm just doing the two ends of the hammer in this brighter silver. Oh, and then the belt buckle here. We'll do that in this silver as well. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the red. And the two army colors of this army, besides the gold armor, are red and blue. Or this greenish-bluish color. But 
on the Vindictors, I split the shields into quadrants and do two quadrants in red and two in blue. And that works really well, but these guys, that doesn't really work so well. So instead, I separate the shield where these lightning cracks are in it, and I just paint every other one red. It, uh, it doesn't necessarily make the most sense for any particular reason, but I think it looks cool, so that's what I've been doing. So basically, I'll just paint right up to this crack here. And then come down. And this crack is mostly hidden under this lightning bolt, but it is there. So I'll paint to there. Like that. Then I'll come to the next one, which that section ends right there, so then I'll paint in here. Which ends right down there, that you can barely see. And I'll have to do a second coat of this red, because it doesn't cover the greatest. And then right in here, there's a tiny little section in here that I'll paint red. And then right up here as well. So it doesn't make the shield symmetrical by any sense of the word, but it puts our army color on there, and I think it looks cool enough. Um, the other option to do if you were more patient than I am is to put your secondary color in the lightning scars, and like they were glowing that secondary color. I chose not to do that though, just for, for ease of painting. But uh, when, when you look at this miniature from three feet away and when he's on the table with a bunch of others, he'll look just fine. He'll look like he has the army colors on him. So now I'm going to go to the second medal, which is Iron Warriors. And this is going to be for the rest of the hammer in here. Technically, I probably should have done this color first, because I realized the gem in the middle of the hammer needs to be the lighter silver we did earlier, but that's okay. We'll come back and do that in just a second. So just making sure to paint all the way up to that middle shaft there. And then knock that out. Alright, and I think that's the only... Yep, that's the only dark silver on him. So now I'm going to go to the leather before we touch up a couple things. So this is going to be Gorthor Brown. So this will be the belt right here. Just making sure to paint around the belt buckle. And then the belt back here. And then it's just got a couple other spots. So the back of the knees here are going to be Gorthor Brown. And then the straps holding his shield to his arm are going to be that color as well. And then all these little straps holding his armor on, I always paint them in. I've got a drop of water on my miniature there. So paint those in. Come around here and get the shield straps from the other side. And then these straps holding on his forearm armor. And that'll do it for that. So now I'm going to get my Retributor armor and just touch up a couple things. So I'm going to touch up underneath this. There we go. And then down here as well. Just paint right back up to the edge of that stuff. That's better. Alright, so just a couple more colors. So we're going to do Mournfang Brown for the wrap on his hammer. Make 
Make sure to get all the way around this cylinder. And all the way up in between his fingers there. And on this guy, it's the only thing. On a bunch of the other guys, they have a, a main weapon and then like a knife or something or a dagger. So you want to make sure to get the wrapping on the dagger as well. So then we're going to take our original silver, Grey Knight Steel. And we're going to paint this gem here in the middle of the hammer. Just like that. And then we're also going to paint some rivets on this guy. So we're going to go around the shield here, just touching these. Just like this. And then we'll do a couple, I'm not going to do all of them, but I like to do the main ones, the front facing ones. Because again, I am only going for tabletop quality here, nothing super fancy. So then I think I'll just do these here. And then maybe these in the back of his leg here. There we go. I think that'll do. So that is basically him done. Um, we've got a little bit of in there where the primer didn't quite get in, so I'm just going to take some Retributor armor and touch that up so that it is a solid color in there. Just fill in like that. And in the back here, that'll be fine. Good. That's close enough. So I don't want to then apply the null oil on him directly because I want him to dry as much as possible before I do that. But just like cooking shows, I have one I've prepared earlier. So I'll pop this guy down there and bring this guy on. So this is one that I painted earlier and it does have the ink wash on there. So you can see, here's a comparison for you. You can see what the wash does. It really brings the definition out on that armor. Um, on the shield especially, it really you know, shades it. That gives it nice division between the colors. The chest, it goes into the ribs, or the, the abdominal muscles that are modeled there, into the chain mail, into that detail on the wrist there. And then, of course, on all the surfaces of the armor in the back. So that null oil really does almost all the work for us, to be honest. Um, but for tabletop quality, that's just what we want. So yeah, um, if you wanted to go a step further after this, you could take some lighter gold and highlight the, you know, top of the... If you... I mean, you could obviously take this infinitely farther. But if you were wanting to just take a couple more steps to just bring it up a little bit, it would be lighter gold to the dome of the head, lighter gold to the pecs here, lighter gold to the knees, top of the shield, back of the shoulder pads here, and these, and then maybe the calves. That would be super quick, just done. Then a lighter silver on the bottom of the plate mail here, and on the top of the symbol here, and then at the top ridges of the hammer. And really after that, you'd be even more set. I'm not going to do that today, but those are some steps you could take. So yeah, that's about it for this one. Shorter stream today, but I am on vacation, so I wanted to get a stream in to make sure the still had a video out, but just a short one, nothing super involved. But I thank you all for watching. I might be streaming next Monday, but I'm not sure. Um, if not, hopefully the Wednesday. That is the day we'll be coming back from vacation, so we'll have to see. But in any event, I will be back either with a stream or a video at some point, either later this week or next week. Thank you again for watching, whether you watched live or are watching sometime in the future. I appreciate it either way, and I will see you next time.